Hey guys, you're watching 360 Rumors. My name is Mick, and today we're going to look at how to move objects around in a 360 video without getting them distorted. Objects such as titles, videos, or, or graphics. So first, uh, I wanted to show you what the end product looks like. So let's take a look. So now that you've seen what it looks like, um, let's look at how we do it. So I have here a 360 video. This one was captured with the Samsung Gear 360. It's already been stitched. Um, I imported it into uh, uh, this movie editor called Magix Movie Edit Pro Plus. Um, it's a <coughs> excuse me. It's a uh, a movie editing program that's more popular in in um, Europe um, than in the US but I prefer it over uh, PowerDirector because uh, it seems to have more um, uh, powerful features as you'll see so um, first of all when you edit a 360 video in Magix uh, movie edit pro uh, you you can switch between equirectangular view or 360 view um, at any time so let's just say we'll switch temporarily to equirectangular view and <clears throat> let's say you wanted to add a title so you just uh, click on this it creates a title let's just call it title uh, bring it make it large enough and <clears throat> so sorry, it's there so um, here's the title. I placed it in the middle, and let's take a look. What, let's see what it looks like in 360. Okay, looks good, right? Looks normal. Um, now let's try to move it around and uh, see what happens. So, let's say we moved it up there toward the trees, and then we switch to 360 view. Now it looks warped, it looks distorted, um, and the further away you move in from the middle area. The more distorted it's going to be so um, so let's say you you wanted to move it up there but you want it to, lo to look normal so magix has this uh, uh, built-in feature that can help you do that um, first of all full disclosure you can also do the same thing on let's say a free program such as Hugin but um, it's more convenient in magic to be able to do it um, in the program itself so you select the, the object in this case and you go to this effects tab and under effects there's one of the uh, options is view animation and under there one of the options is 360 editing so let's select that <coughs> and then you select activate 360 editing and we it has two editing modes um, this is when you're converting it to a, 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 th a 360 video into 2D and you want to move it around, we're not doing that. Uh, we're doing this instead, position an object in 360 space. So uh, we, we, we've we selected the object here and um, if you want to move it around, you use these parameters. So let's say you wanted to move it up or down. Or, okay, this one's going down. And as you can see, it gets distorted automatically and uh, if we look at it in 360 view it looks normal um, and let's say we switch back and um, you you can you can uh, combine these movements um, such as uh, horizontal movement or vertical movement and it will uh, remain you know norm it will still look normal um, there's an another way to move it around it's like an, an, a more intuitive way which is to just look where you want it where do you want the title to be let's say there in front of me uh, you click on you first you adjust the view to that and then you click on direction of view and it's there um, or you wanted to move it uh, toward those trees over there click on direction view boom it's there so um, besides 
besides moving it around you can also adjust um, its size so that's this parameter called perspective um, as you can see you know it's not just changing the size but it's kind of like actually seemingly moving it in um, the Z axis um, it, or at least creates that illusion um, so that uh, it's pretty advanced um, so that's the static uh, uh, title and um, the cool thing is you can also animate the title you can move it around so I'll, I'd like to show you how that works so um, okay so let's say we wanted wanted the title to move from this spot um, over here to you know toward the wall <coughs> so there's this uh, uh, key framing feature uh, that that you can use with this uh, 360 editor um, so key framing just is a very brief concept is you know basically you tell the computer hey let's start from here and I want it to end there and then the computer figures out uh, you know the, the software figures out um, all the intermediate steps you don't actually have to like manually move it so again let's start here 360 creator the drop down box um, and then we position uh, I'm sorry we select let's say horizontal movement <coughs> and then uh, we press this button to, to, to specify that this is the start of the the keyframe so it creates this this uh, mark over here now uh, we'll adjust the animation um, let you know this is actually move the, the it's actually moving you know but uh, we, uh, so let's say we I, we've advanced it a few seconds and then um, by then we want the title to be over here so we press this uh, keyframe button here it creates another keyframe there um, and um, let's say we want the vertical movement as well to move okay so uh, we click on direction of view boom so there um, mm, sorry for we have to create the start as well so so we'll create this just to create the start the, the title then now the uh, at this point we want the title to be over here so we press this okay so if we play the video you're gonna see that it's it's moving automatically now um, this this you like you can like I said you can also do that not just with uh, horizontal or vertical movement but you can also do that with the uh, perspective so for example um, over here uh, we can change well let's start with here first let's go to size create a keyframe over there uh, it's going to be here and okay the keyframe over there and then we'll go to the same spot and let's say we want uh, uh, want it to look uh, bigger by then so that's fine so we it, it actually already created a, a keyframe automatically so if we drag it here and press play, play the video and as you can see as it moves there it's it's uh, moving the um, the uh, uh, title closer toward the camera I mean closer toward our view uh, and uh, the, the like I said this this uh, technique also works not just for for titles but it also works for graphics or or you could put like um, a video clip in there like a kind of like a picture-in-picture -picture effect and you can um, move it around um, so I'll, I'll here we'll we'll demonstrate that um, so let's say I'm going to import um, a new video 
this is uh, one of the skiing videos that I used for my, my other demo so I'll import it do not adjust okay so we zoom out it's over here no we don't need that make it make it that long so we can just make it a short clip just to demonstrate the effect so let's say the video starts right there and it's kind of big right uh, that's okay uh, we're going to shrink it so we selected it X size position. Um, drag it to this small, this size. Let's say like around there. So here's how it looks in 360. It looks like that. Now, um, as you can see, it's like a picture in picture effect. So now you like i said you can move that around um you can apply the transformations that we did um even to this video so again we select or with the object selected we go activate 360 editing <coughs> position the object in 360 space by the way that you notice that uh here it adjusted the size automatically but um anyway uh, if you want to make it bigger, let's see. There it is. The the resolution is lower because it it tried to adapt it toward the 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 resolution of the uh, the video itself. So, but uh, and anyway, this is only a preview. So. Um, again, you know, we select horizontal, let's say, create a keyframe here, and then, um, let's say we wanted to move it this way, and let's say we wanted to move it, okay, let's, let's just do this for now, create a keyframe over there, oh, I'm sorry, <coughs> <coughs> let's just move it here so we drag this uh, change it all right so now as you can see as uh, as the video move as the time moves the video moves to to the right um, and it it's not it doesn't get distorted it remains you know uh, in the right position right uh, proportions um, now let's say we also wanted to apply a, a vertical movement at the same time so from here so let's go back to this point of time create a keyframe over there and then go jump to this point of time and then, then let's uh, let's move it upward or Uh, let's just for fun. Let's just move it all the way there. Okay, so um, it cre automatically created a keyframe there, um, and uh, let's test the movement again. So here, so as you can see, it's moving to the right and upward at the same time, and we can continue. We can also do the same thing with the pers uh, the size the perspective um, <coughs> so we'll create a, a starting keyframe over I'm sorry select the parameter and then select create a starting keyframe and then move to that point in time and let's say we wanted to move it farther away and you know what just for fun we can even fade it out um, um, over there so um, so we go back to this point in time and we press play and it's moving upward and to the right and farther and it's gonna it should start fading out like there so uh, <coughs> excuse me 
so that's a demo of um, of how to do uh, uh, how to move objects around in a 360 video uh, using Magic's uh, Movie Edit Pro Plus. Uh, you can also, of course, do the same thing in in you know uh, Adobe Premiere or After Effects using the the uh, Metal Skybox uh, plugin, but that is way more expensive than this. This one is more for consumers. It's it's around a hundred bucks. Um, so this is again Ma Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus 2017. The if if you get the uh, the Magic's Movie Edit Pro, but without the Plus, th I don't think it has the 360 editing features. Um, and the 2016 version of this software also has 360 editing features, but um, I think it has fewer features. I d so I don't know exactly what's missing and what's what's different. I just know that the 2017 version has these features. So again, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you li if you liked it, uh, please click the like button and uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.